but towards the end of my senior year, I was I was coming off of an injury, and I kind of got lackadaisical with all my workouts, and I wasn't able to run, so I would just lift and lift and lift, and I kind of put on a lot of weight, and then when I got here and we took a picture, I was really disappointed in myself, so I, like, I really kind of let myself go, and so sitting down with Rob and Monica and Taylor, our nutritionists, I was like, I really need to get my body back to where I, where I need to be, I need to be a lot lighter to play the way we need to play here, and I think that I... I Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of myself for it, but I, I can't take all the credit because Rob really helped me out and Monica and Taylor really helped me out. Uh, so they got to take some credit too. Have you noticed a difference that it's made? Absolutely. I mean, I'm in a lot, I'm in a lot better shape. I'm, I don't get as tired when we practice. Um, I'm able to move a lot better laterally. I still need to get better, um, obviously, and I need to be able to jump a little bit higher and stuff like that. But I think uh, as I've started to play, I've noticed I don't really get as tired and I'm able to kind of keep going. What's the biggest difference being a part of this program now? Uh, just the speed and the, the kind of the athletic ability of most of the guys here. They're they're freaks of nature's, and it's it's uh, it's really really cool to see how how athletic they are, and then try to like com- compete with them every day. And I think the speed of the game when I first started to practice in the summer was the biggest difference. I was like, yeah, they just fly up and down the court, and they don't ever get tired. I'm like, man, I'm. I'm smoked. Like after practice, I'm hopping in the cold tub, and these guys just shower, change, and get out of here. I'm like here for like another hour stretching and stuff. But uh, no, I think the, the the biggest thing is speed and uh, just like the, the athletic ability of these guys. You know, Ashton and Cal were talking about how much you communicate when you're on the court. So how loud are you when you're out there? I mean, I try to be the loudest guy in the gym. Um, I, if if one of the coaches says, "Oh, I don't hear anybody," I want them to be able to hear me over everybody or just hear me in general. And um, it didn't happen my freshman year. It didn't happen my sophomore year. Junior year started to click, and then my senior year, I really started to communicate. And it's it's a difference maker. And I think in practice too, like it's helping the younger guys out because if I'm just telling them what I'm doing, then they trust me, and that trust carries over to offense, and that trust carries over to other defensive possessions. And then we really, really get this thing moving. And it's it's pretty scary. I find it hard to believe that it's just you though, because you see Tyrese and Khalil always out here just talking and having a good time. I mean, are they just not carrying that over to the court? No, 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 they are. It's, I think the, they're so worried about getting to the right spot that it's, it's because it's really, really hard to do both. And like I said, it didn't, I couldn't do it as an 18 year old kid, that's why I didn't play. Um, and I think these guys just, they're, they're doing one or the other at certain points in practice. And then once it starts to click, we mesh really, really well together. And Coach Cowell, every once in a while, will put us on separate teams where I'm with all the younger guys. And I'm like, all right, well, let's really get, let's start to talk. And, and the other day in practice, like, we got a bunch of stops in a row because everybody communicated. And, and it, it's really, it's really, really cool to see what happens. So Keon was saying that you're the funniest guy on the team. <laughs> <laughs> Keon's the funny guy. That's great. So what are some things you do to try and keep these guys com- comfortable, loose, you know, as a veteran, you've been through this before. Yeah, so. um, honestly, just telling them that, like, you have to really listen to what the coaches say, not how they say it, because Coach Cow, if he's mad, like, you're going to know when he's mad, but he just, he always says he talks loud. So it's like, if you do something and you think you're getting yelled at, like, you're not. He's just telling you, like, what he sees, and I think a lot of guys get caught up in how, like, how it's perceived, and it's like, no, 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 listen to what he's saying, because, like, mm-hmm. he's going to help you out. Like, don't listen to how he said And I said that to the younger guys at Bucknell, too. It's Because, like, when you're doing something and you're busting your butt and you're breathing hard, you're sweating, and then you slip up a little bit, and then they're like, whoa, 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 and they only point that out, your first initial reaction is like, oh, my God, I was doing everything else. It's like, listen to what he's saying, not how he's saying it. Uh, and then outside of basketball, it's that's where everything, like, that's where, like, your relationships carry onto the court. Because, like, Keon, Johnny, and I always got to eat together. I'm always eating breakfast with, like, Dante and... I'll let Ashton use my car to go do something, or I'll let, like, I hang out with everybody in different parts of the day, and then when we're all out here, it's, it's a lot of fun. Have you daydreamed at all about wearing the white jerseys in your first game at Rupp Arena? I mean, did that sort of cross your mind a little bit when that was sinking? When, it, when I walked into the locker room one day and I saw my name in the back of the jersey for the first time, I, I'm not going to lie, I got choked up because I was like, man, that, I was so cool to see. I had never had that happen for me. And, uh, yeah, when I, when I saw that, I was like, Playing in front of Rupp Arena is going to be a lot of fun and kind of getting to represent me and represent Kentucky and then have my name across the back is, is going to be a lot of fun. Did you, did, did you know anything about Big Blue Madness before you came here? I mean, or have you, did you know a little? I knew, I, I, I'd, I'd 
heard about it, I, and it's all over social media when you're watching stuff in the beginning of the season. And then when I came on my visit, they were talking about it. They're like, oh, this place gets nuts come October and the end of September. And I was like, oh, okay. And then, like, it, no, it was nuts. Like, I took 25 minutes to get from the lodge to here. It's 54 steps. And it took me 25 minutes, but it usually takes me, like, 45 seconds. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited for it, though. It's going to be a lot of fun. My parents and my sister, uh, my sister's and my sister's husband's coming down. So it's going to be a lot of fun. What kind of advice have you got from Ray Travis? Uh, has he contacted you um, since you've got here? Yeah, uh, I talk with Reed every once in a while. Um, it's hard with his, his the time difference in his schedule and, and our schedule here, but uh, he just said, like, no matter what, keep going. It's going to be a really long year. It's going to be hard, and, and your body is really going to start to like, feel it come like, January and February. But, like, take care of your body, eat right, sleep, do all the right things. He's like, but told me pretty much like you're a veteran you've done this so like I don't really necessarily have to tell you how to handle it just be prepared for the length of the season and playing 35 plus games and stuff like that but most of it was just being able to talk with him about basketball and being able to talk about his experience at Stanford versus here and my experience at Bucknell versus here and uh, it's been good. Obviously, have you followed uh, California Bill and where do you see college basketball?